Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Wolf in Time unboxing. Today's going to be a really exciting one because this is the biggest Wolf in Time unboxing I have ever done. I have every single box for the month of March to open for you today. That is the Wolf in Time, the Luna Lux, and the Quarterly Bone and Steel, all in one video. I've never had this many boxes to open up. I didn't initially think I was going to because the Bone and Steel literally just arrived today. I'm filming later than I usually would. I've had the Wolf in Time and the Luna Lux box for a couple days now. So I was planning on filming earlier, but life has been really, really crazy. Just a quick little update on life in general and just in case you guys are going through similar things. Um, I love my job so much. I work at a crystal shop. I do social media and I just love working with rocks and crystals and it just makes me so happy. Some of you might know in the past I mentioned I was working towards getting my master's degree and I'm at a point where I have to get an unpaid internship in order to get hours for my degree. And then after I get my degree, I'll have to get more hours in order to be licensed in my particular field. And now that I'm actually getting on the job training and I'm actually experiencing things and not getting much advice on how to do things and go about things. It's been really, really stressful for me and I'm really questioning going down this path in the first place. So I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but it really sucks when you invest a lot of time and money, like it's very expensive to get a higher education. So it's been really difficult kind of facing the fact that I don't really love what I'm doing right now. And I struggle with that fact that I'll be doing this for at least three years until I'm able to actually go off and have some independence or autonomy in this field, which makes me feel very trapped. And I don't like that feeling. That's literally why I wanted to do this in the first place was so I didn't feel trapped and I feel very trapped and like I made a bad decision. So I don't know if you guys have ever felt that way, but that's how I've been feeling a lot lately. This is really my first month actually being in it and actually doing work and it's free work and it's a lot of work and it's been a lot. So I'm very excited today to be able to sit down with all of you and open these boxes because YouTube has always been a really, really fun hobby of mine. And I just love sharing amazing things like this with you because this is such a big part of my life. My, you know, self-care and my spirituality has taken a little bit of a backseat the past couple of months just because there's been so much going on and having this time and like sitting down with these boxes and doing the rituals that come in them really just helps recenter myself and kind of forget everything that makes me really anxious about the outside world and just be able to focus on myself and my core and who I am. So I'm so excited to be here with all of you today. Let me know if you've ever had something crazy similar going on in your life because I know life is just ebbs and flows. We go through all these crazy emotions and that is life. Um, and I'm in this weird little ebb and flow right now. So I'm just trying to roll with it. And like I said, I'm excited to share it this time with all of you opening these boxes tonight. So with that little life update out of the way, I'm going to hop into the first one. I am going to go in the order doing the Wolf in Time, the Luna Lux, and then the Bone and Steel. So if there's a particular box you were interested in seeing specifically, I'll put that time stamp down below in case you wanted to hop to it and jump and see what's inside that box specifically. But I'll talk a little bit before each one just about what's in the box, what you, what type of items are in it, the price, just in case you haven't seen any of my previous unboxings because I have unboxed every single one of these on my channel before, but this is all just for the month of March. And on the website, you can go and purchase past boxes. So if you really love some of these boxes that I have today, you can go check out the website and see if they're still available for purchase. But without further ado, I'm going to hop into the Wolf in Time box for the month of March. The Wolf in Time subscription box is $32 per month and includes five items monthly. The price is going to differ if you're buying a previous box. So if you sign up for the subscription, it'll be $32 a month and it is curated with five self-care and magical items to help you connect to nature, yourself, and the path of the moon. You can expect things like rituals, oracle cards, crystals, original artwork, spiritual tools, holistic care, and more. So I've been getting this box for over a year now, and it's really perfect if you're somebody who wants to tap into your spirituality, whether you are associated with any religion or not, if you're just somebody who sees self-care as some type of practice like I do. This is seriously my form of self-care, doing stuff like this and paying attention to the elements, paying attention to the phases of the moon, connecting with crystals. If that is something that resonates with you, this box would be really nice to add to your practice. It just helps get into 
a routine and helps to add tools that you can use in your practice. So this is the box for this month. Every single one has fragile stickers on it. And as always, I have not had any spoilers. I do follow Wolf and Time on Instagram, but I usually just scroll past really quick and I try not to see what has been posted because I don't want to spoil it for myself. And don't forget, I do still have a coupon code. If you've been on the fence about getting this box, you're interested in trying out a subscription, you can use the code XWOLF15 and you'll get 15% off your first subscription. So I'm going to take my baby scissors. I use these scissors more for these boxes now than for anything else because it's kind of gross. I literally use them to open up a box but I'll sometimes still use them on my eyelashes. I don't know, that's gross, I don't care. I use these for a lot of things, but mostly for these boxes. They have a brand new sticker. There's a Wolf and Time sticker. There's a Bone and Steel sticker. And there's also a Luna Lux sticker as well. So that's something new for this month. They have um, customized stickers for each of them. So if you're ordering a particular box or if you're ordering multiple boxes, you'll be able to differentiate between them because of the customized sticker. Where's my baby scissors? I'm just holding them. Hello? I think that's really cool with the, the stickers. It helps you differentiate um, whether you just get one box or if you get multiples, it helps so you know which is which. I'm so excited to open these with you guys. All right, starting with the Wolf and Time box right on the top here. I have this little sticker and it's a flower. How perfect is that? We are welcoming spring. Even though it's April showers, spring May flowers. I don't care, spring is all about flowers in general. Ooh, this is new. There's a little card on top. <gasps> Ooh, this is really nice. So they have like a new little card. I'm not sure if this is just for this month. It says spiritual artisan wares. Oh, so. This must be their new business card. This is a really, really cool business card. It's a little square, so not your typical business card shape. And it has information on the back about everything. So about the boxes, their social media, customer service, their address, literally everything is on here. So it says, yeah, the Wolf and Time box, five items, Luna Luxe box, 10 items, and then quarterly Norse Celtic masculine box, bone and steel five to seven items. So this is really nice. It has a nice texture to it as well. It's like velvety soft. This is a nice quality uh, business card right here. So of course on top we have the information about what is in the box. I'm just going to show it to all of you so you can take a peek at what is in store for this month. And the theme of this box is ancient botany for the month of March. And this smells really nice. Oh my God, there's something about this smell. This smells like the incense sticks that we got last month. And I said, it smells just like very powdery. I don't know, it smells like my childhood, like something in my childhood, baby powder, talc, but like in a really good way, if that makes sense. I don't know, it like taps into my inner child. It's so weird how scents like bring you back to certain times in your life because um, your olfactory system is amazing you'll smell something and just the memories will come flooding back in that's probably why i love perfume so much i get very connected to specific scents and associate that with like different points in my life when i was wearing those scents so yeah i'm very connected to scents and the scent is like super like nostalgic i don't know how to explain it so it looks like they did another collaboration with the brand apothecary at home it says, become a true green witch, explore healing herbs, make home remedies, and grow your medicinal garden. New projects delivered monthly. Wolf and Time friends take 20% off your first shipment. And they give a coupon code for subscribers of this box to get a coupon um, or to get a discount off of their website. So that is the brand that is in this box. Sorry, my bangs are gonna keep separating like this because I was just crying before this and my bangs are all messed up and I didn't do any hairspray to them again. So <laughs> I'm okay. It says, oh, this is from the apothecary at home. It says, greetings, beloved botanist. We are thrilled and honored to be part of your Wolf and Time box this month. And we think you will have a blast making infused oils with your plant potion kit. <sighs> I love this. Rose and rosemary are two of our favorite springtime, er springtime herbs as they each hold significant spiritual value. Rose is the iconic flower of Venus and the Empress in tarot, and we selected it to represent divine femininity, yin, 
Rosemary is a warming and stimulating herb of remembrance and was selected to represent the sacred masculine energy, yang. Use them separately or in tandem in your magical workings to harmonize your energies during Ostara. If you are feeling called to learn more about herbalism, I invite you to join us on the plant path because world needs more healers. Warmest regards, Shannon, who is the founder of Apothecary at Home. And then here on the back is the recipe for the herbal infused oil. So I will hold this up. I'm actually involved in a horticultural group, so I am getting a little bit more of a green thumb. So anything about plants has been super interesting to me lately, and I'm excited to learn more about it and work with it more because historically, I've not had very good luck with plants, but I have a couple plants in my house right now that are doing good. I have like seven or eight of them and they're all alive, so that's a good start. <laughs> I have another one of these here, and I do recognize this this type of um, cardstock. I feel like we've gotten, they've collaborated with Apothecary at Home before. Don't quote me on that, I'll have to go in my previous videos and see, but this looks very familiar to me. Maybe there's just been something similar to this, but I'm really loving it. It's really nice thick cardstock, and you could definitely just take these and put them straight into your Book of Shadows or your Grimoire and just hold onto them for reference because this talks about the particular herbs. So one side talks about rose and the other side talks about rosemary. And again, I'll just hold these up in case you want to take a peek and see the type of information that's included. It's super detailed. So that's really nice. Talks about usage for your health, usage for magical uses, and also any contradictions, which is really interesting. So this one says don't use during pregnancy, which is very, very important. So I really enjoy that they include that on these informational sheets. <gasps> is that a hedgehog? That is so cute. Oh my God, it's like a little hedgehog. I was just talking about hedgehogs yesterday um, because my job we have this um chalcedony carving and it's a hedgehog and it's so stinking cute i'm obsessed with it and now i have i believe this is a hedgehog let me just check myself before i sound really stupid it is a hedgehog i thought so a little sonic here a little sonic the hedgehog print i love these prints i actually had somebody in my office i've explained in the past i keep these in my office at work because it just makes me really happy to be surrounded by beautiful artwork it's all on my walls i have these also on my desk and in the window that i have it's everywhere and one of my coworkers was walking by and they were like oh my god those are stunning did you make those and i got to share with her um, wolf in time and just talk a little bit about it and yeah, she thought they were absolutely beautiful because they look so cohesive with one another because they're all watercolor and they all are like rooted in animals or just very like more whimsical themes. Um, so yeah, very like foresty, really, really beautiful themes to all the prints. Um, so this one's a little hedgehog looking into the water and there is some mushrooms in the back. Oh, it's so beautiful and it has Kat's signature on the bottom. Kat is the creator and curator of the Wolf and Time boxes and she also has a YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, she does time-lapse videos of her creating the paintings that she turns into prints, which is amazing to watch. It seriously is, I don't have that type of talent, so I love watching that. And I'll link that below if you're interested in seeing her create these prints because I think it helps you bond even more to the prints once you can see it getting made. Mirror of Nature is a painting of a little hedgehog looking into the reflection of the water deep in the canopy of the woods. It was created to remind you that you are a magical soul inside and out, created by the stardust and biology of nature's beginnings, collected to all living things in the ancient botanical world. The hedgehog as a shaman animal helps you by overcoming your inner fear by showing you both the light and dark of yourself and of the unseen world. It supports you in needing time to yourself to reflect and heal, and by connecting you to the sun through activation of your solar plexus chakra. It helps ground you through the element of earth and our sacred animals in many cultures that is connected to nature spirits, magic, and transformation. And you can see the art process of this being made in the YouTube channel Wolf in Time. Okay, next, I see some herbs in here. It wouldn't be a botany box if it didn't have some herbs in here. That's one thing I've been trying to get better at is herbs. I don't have many. So I'm really excited to have these. First, I'll show the rose and the rosemary because this was kind of the star of the show that we just talked about. Of course, this is the rose and this is the rosemary. I feel compelled to smell it because I love 
the smell of rose petals, which is really interesting because I don't like the scent of rose, like in perfumes. I don't know, it's a really weird thing, but I love the smell of like rose petals. Like that smells so much different to me than like rose as a note in perfume. I don't know. Tell me if you get the same vibe, but I enjoy the smell of rose petal petals, just not in perfume. And I don't even know if I know what rosemary smells like. I, yes, I do actually. I've used rosemary in cooking before with like potatoes. I think that's the only thing I've ever used rosemary before, but now I can use it for making oils. So that's really exciting. I pulled this out as well because I thought that this was another herb, but it's actually a tea. It's an ancient botany herbal tea, a soothing blend for focus, immunity, and grounding energy. And it's just a little resealable bag. I love when it's resealable because you can have multiple uses out of it. Or if you want to store it, if you're not like a huge tea drinker and you like to kind of just store it away and then come back to it at a certain time, it's really nice when it's resealable like this. We have included this bonus item so that the abundance of nature's botanical wealth can greet you with a comforting taste as you craft and work with your new tools. It was made with all organic ingredients and is very slightly caffeinated. We packed it full of nutrients and flavors so you can enjoy its pure goodness for your body and soul contains two to four servings. This won't last very long because it's not too much and I am an avid tea drinker. I try to drink tea every night if I can. I see something really cool over here and I want to pick this out. What is this? It's this little, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna open it up and see. It's always so fun when I get things like this. I don't know what it is. Ooh, it's like unfolding. It's a little bag, like a satchel or something. This is really interesting. Maybe like if you're going somewhere and you want to like pick up herbs, you can put it in your bag. I'm going to have to look into my handy dandy thing here and see what this might be. Yes, it is. It's for collecting nature's treasures. How did I know? My intuition was just telling me you could bring this into the forest and get some really awesome things in here. So that is what this is. That is so perfect. Even the color is like this gorgeous sage green. Well, it said olive green, but it's this beautiful green shade. And I like that it folds in on itself. So it's perfect for like traveling. I love this. Look how easy that is for like storage. You could just keep this in your bag, whip it out if you find something cool, fill it up, and then you can tuck it back in like this once you empty your goodies out when you get home. So I think that's such a cute idea. I love it. It fits the theme perfectly as well. As you gather on your hikes, nature walks, or out and about, a sturdy bag is needed for collecting all of nature's treasures. Foraging in the forest, the meadows, or even along the ocean shore is both a meditative and grounding practice that is helpful in making spells, rituals, offerings, and crafts. This bag clips to your belt or can be handheld and unfolds into a large pouch with an adjustable cord to close up. It is made of sturdy vegan leather and canvas and can transform your adventures into a helpful scavenger hunt so you can bring back your botanical finds. Next. It feels like there's a lot in this box already. So next I have this little box here. Ooh, what is this? Well, let me show you before I go in. There's like little dried um, flower petals and a bracelet. Is this a bracelet? <gasps> With a butterfly. This is really cute. There's this little bead and a butterfly, like a glass bead. Oh, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. You'll see it when I do my close-ups, but there's this adorable little butterfly in it. And for those of you who don't know, I love butterflies. I collect like shadow boxes of butterflies. Oh, it's so cute and earthy. I love it. And that little butterfly design is so sweet. And there's really nice dried petals here too. You can use these petals for a bunch of different things. One great way to use it, I actually see this in here, this is the crystal, but one really amazing way to use like dried herbs and petals um, because I have like an issue with things floating in my bath that I have to then scoop out at the end of my bath. I don't like doing that. So I like taking these little bags because we recycle everything here. I know I do. I keep all of these bags forever. Um, but for this purpose, I will use them by taking these little loose pieces put them in the bath and it'll kind of be like a tea bag and it'll steep in my bath so that I'll get the properties of that particular, whether it's a flower, like an herb or something that's loose, I can still get the properties of it and have it be infused in my bath, but not have to deal with the cleanup afterwards. So that's a little pro tip from someone who loves baths, but not cleaning things up afterwards. 
This delicate bracelet is a weaved silken cord with freeform glass beads and a center pendant of glass that encases a genuine dried Gypsophilia dandelion flower and a small butterfly. It is adjustable and holds the property of the flower which supports you with divination, wishes, and calling out to spirits. It relates to the planet Jupiter, the element of air, the goddess Hecate, and celebrates the spring season of transformation and rebirth. So speaking of this little bag that I'm holding, I should probably see what is inside. Ooh, this is really cool. I actually don't know what this is. And that's the coolest thing about this box is I constantly get things and I don't know what they are. I'll show you guys. Fossil coral jasper is mined from Indonesia and the US and is a fairly rare ancient coral that died many years ago and then was replaced by minerals that changed it into a chalcedony jasper stone. Sometimes you can find patterns that look like flowers and ripples on the surface and it comes in yellow, beige, ivory, browns, and reds. It has been used since the ancient times to ward off negativity or by sailors for good luck upon the sea during storms. It is worn often as jewelry to help its users stay calm, grounded, and emotionally focused. Meditate with it to connect to ancient healing energy while burning your ancient botany incense. I don't have this. Um, I don't think we carry it in my store either, which is really amazing. Love getting new things that I don't have in my collection because it really helps to just expand it and learn even more because I don't know anything about this stone, so I get to learn. All right, and now I think this is the final item in this box. Yes, it is. And it is this little bag here. And if I'm guessing correctly, this should be for creating our oils. So I have this, look at, you can see me through it. Oh my God, look at my eyes, guys. <laughs> There's one video I have on my channel where I was doing like a wine unboxing. Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this. I was doing like a wine unboxing and I was holding up the wine and you could see like my face through it. And I just thought it was so funny when I was editing. I had to zoom in on it, but I have a glass jar and then I also have, ooh, shut up. Is this an oil dropper? Sorry, it's wrapped in plastic, so super secure. We've gotten some in the past. Let me show you, sorry, I'm talking about it and you haven't even seen it. We've gotten one in the past that was like an ombre, but it was like red and I thought it was so beautiful, but this one is, it looks so just beautiful, like goddessy. And I love how this is like matte even too. Oh, it's just so pretty. Interesting about this too, there is also like some measurements on here. Can you guys see that? There's like measurements on it. So if you want to measure out a quarter, half, three quarters or a full milliliter, you can do that with this droplet, which I've never seen before. Maybe I just don't have enough of these, um, but I've never had a dropper that has the measurements on the side. So that's really helpful. And then in the bottom of here, it's the apothecary at home, little stickers. You can write on them what is in it if you want to just for your own purposes. They're just little stickers that you can use either on this, you can stick it probably on the side, that would fit a little bit better. You could stick this on the side or on this, you can definitely stick this one on the bottom. This one fits absolutely perfectly on the bottom of this or the top, whatever you want. Just helps to keep it together if this is something that you do a lot and you have to, have to differentiate them. Since I don't do much of this, I know I'll probably remember what they are, but I'll probably use it anyway just to have it. In ancient botany, plants, herbalism, and the study of nature are an essential part of magic as well as a holistic lifestyle full of healing and growth. So we have partnered with Shannon O'Brien of Apothecary at Home to bring you a special kit created just for this box. It holds all the parts needed to make a unique herbal infused oil from roses and rosemary, including one ounce bags of both herbs, a magical potion dropper bottle, a glass jar with a lid, a large muslin bag, blank labels, an instruction card, recipe, and properties. You also get a personal letter from the owner slash founder with a discount code just for you to get your first box from the subscription collection. Enjoy learning all the history, wisdom, magical purpose, and natural healing remedy that herbalism can give you. So that was everything in the Wolf and Time box, the botany themed box for the month of March. I'm gonna have to take this off because I need to remember to do a close up of this, but I love this little glass butterfly. Butterfly in the sky. I think those videos are so funny, guys. I like, 
Oh my god, look how tiny this is. I could wear it as a ring. Oh my god. So pretty. Um, yeah, no, I'm obsessed with those butterfly in the sky TikToks. I think it's so funny. And I wore this butterfly crop top for my birthday and I couldn't stop thinking about that song because that's kind of still popular on TikTok. I guess it's kind of like on its way out, but it makes me laugh. It literally feels like Christmas, guys. Like I am so excited to be able to open all these. I seriously am so grateful for being able to do this. It feels like Christmas every time I get to do this because it's not only things that I am super interested in and I love, it's just, I'm just very grateful for the opportunity to share all this with you guys. So this is the Luna Lux box. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Joke's on you, it's not. This next box is the Luna Lux. I originally picked up the Bone and Steel one, and because it is clearly labeled right here, I was able to tell that it was the wrong box and I would have opened the wrong box. So because of these beautiful customized stickers telling me that this is the Luna Lux box, it is $72 per month if you get a subscription. Again, it has the same items inside, um, except it says organic teas, crystals, rituals, nature-inspired artisan crafts, handmade goods, original artworks, oracle cards, books, altar decor, spiritual tools, holistic self-care, and more. So there's a little bit more of an expansive category. It's still the same vibe, like it's the same theme of things that you'll get. It's just a little bit more expansive of options that you could get. And there's also more items in the box. So if you did want to get the larger box, you're getting more, you're getting a greater variety. Um, you're opening yourself up to more categories of things within the general theme of the box. Right on top, we have another sticker. This is one of my favorite ones. It's the one where there's like a transparent background and it's like a little herb. I'm not sure if you can see that, but oh, some of my favorite stickers that we get with these boxes. First thing on the top is I have, of course, our page again. And again, this is the same theme, ancient botany. But again, another thing that's amazing, I've said this before in the past, it's really amazing that when you get this box, there are not the same items. So for like some companies, I always wondered this about Crystal Council, like if I got the master's box, is that what it was called? The master's versus like the apprentice. I always wondered if they would choose the same stones, but just like more of them. But I never got an answer because who, who knows how they actually do that. But you know for sure with this box, the Wolf in Time and the Luna Lux box are always different items. And that always amazes me because it's so hard to curate a whole box, let alone two, let alone three. There's three boxes this month. So it's a lot of work, a lot of different things to come up with. Um, and each one of them is literally a standalone box. You can get either of them and get something that completely adheres to that theme, the ancient botany. So. I think that's really cool. I like to share that and highlight that because I think it's really cool that they're not gonna be the same items at all. They're completely different items, completely unique. Um, and I think that just shows how much effort is put into all of them. So again, there's always a collection of things on top. We have this new business card again, the velvet business card. It feels so good, guys. I wish you could like reach through and touch them because they're soft. I have this apothecary at home business card again as well. That's the only similarity between the boxes is you'll get the same like cards and stuff like that. I have this Oracle card. That's another really awesome thing about this box is that every single month we get an Oracle card now. And this is perfect for this month. It is like a botany theme. There's an herb on the back. I have yarrow. That's the herb that I got and it heals physical and emotional wounds. So that is the card that I got. And one thing that I mentioned in a previous video that I said I was going to do and I actually did do, I started doing, is that I wanted to take the Oracle cards from each of the boxes and make like an Oracle deck out of all the individual Oracle cards. I don't know, I thought that'd be really cool. I think I saw the idea somewhere online where you can buy this deck and it would be unique to you because it's just cards from different Oracle decks all mixed up. But I was like, I'm getting all these Oracle cards from Wolf in Time, so I might as well do it for myself and not have to get somebody else's. You know what I mean? Like I'll make it myself based off all of the cards that were selected for me. I know, I think that's really personable and really nice. I was originally using these as like bookmarks, but I think that's a really, I don't know. I just think that's a better way for me to use them. And 
appreciate them. This is what I have so far of my Oracle cards that I got all from Wolf and Time boxes. All from Luna Looks specifically, I think. So I have my Runes one. I have this, the Unknown. I have my 17, my lucky number, Courage, um, Consistency. I have the OM Oracle. I almost said Rune, it's not Rune, it's the OM Alphabet. I have this one, Miracles. Um, this one's a tarot card. It's the Eight of Wands, and we did get the full size deck. But I just kept this with them because it was an Oracle card that I got for the month. Um, one of my faves. I got the Fourth House. I think we got the yeah. We have the full size of that one as well. The Star Codes Astro Oracle. Then I have this one, Bloom. This is from a really long time ago. And then this one, Choices. Um, so yeah, they're a little bit different sizes, but I don't really care. I like that they're all unique. And this is the start of my own little personal Oracle deck. So let me know if you've ever done something similar to this. I think this is a really cool way to utilize them. And I really enjoy having them. But I did have to go through all my books and like take them out because I was using them as bookmarks. I thought that was a great way to use them. So I had to go in, replace them with other things. Um, and I think I retrieved all of them, but there might be some that are still in a book somewhere because I have a lot of books that have bookmarks in them at the moment. But just want to share. I just started this and I thought that was kind of cool. Essential oils come from the magical powers of plants and are a worldwide practice in holistic and spiritual healing. This 52 card deck gives you the illustration, plant name, Latin name, healing properties, and symbols on how you can use it. You have been given an intuitively chosen card which represents the plant needed for you at this moment and to meditate upon its meaning. Next, ancient botany ink recipe. What? Fresh blueberries, red wine. That's a good excuse to go buy some wine. <laughs> guar gum and a container with a lid so you can make your own ink. I have never heard of that before. That is pretty awesome. And I do have a mortar and pestle. I actually have two mortar and pestles, including one from Wolf in Time. We got a mortar, mortar and pestle a couple months ago. So perfect way to be able to use that tool that we got. Um, or you can use a food processor. If you don't have one of those, that's really interesting. Blend and shake. And you can use that. I wonder if there's a specific like material, like writing utensil to use. Like maybe you'll use one of those like quail feathers or something. Um, I'd be interested to look into that and see. Refrigerate after each use and toss out after one to two weeks. That's really awesome if you're doing any type of like manifestation, if you're writing it down and really trying to put it onto paper and do any type of spell that way. Um, really nice to make your own ink. Never heard of that before, but I am super excited to try this. Next is a beautiful page for your grimoire or your book of shadows. It says crystal botany. There are different crystal and house plants. Ooh, this is nice. They're like combinations that you can use. So you can put amber with a cactus and it helps with protection and endurance. Wait, this is perfect. I was just talking to my horticultural group about integrating different crystals for plants because I know adventuring is a really big one that loves plants. But all of these combinations are perfect and I am really excited to look into these more. I'll definitely use this for reference. But again, these are perfect references for your Book of Shadows, just sticking them right in so you have them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this like tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's when the next one is. I'm gonna bring that up tomorrow. <laughs> Crystal botany is a newer concept of combining crystal energy with the vibration of plants. This is an ancient practice for many cultures, but the idea of it has not been well known until recently. Your original 5x7 grimoire page goes over the idea of crystal botany and its purpose, as well as several pairings or more of common crystals, house plants, and garden varieties. Each one is paired based on the plant's meaning and the supporting healing properties of the stone. Try some pairings of your own and create a higher vibration of your sacred space while burning your Astara flower, including incense made of essential oils, resin, and fragrance. We have two more of these Apothecary at Home cards. So I have Herbal Infused Oil. It's a recipe. 
There's a recipe for herbal salve. Greetings, beloved botanist. We are thrilled and honored to be part of your Wolf in Time box this month, and we think you will have a blast making infused oils with your plant potion kit. So this is a completely different one. It's not the same as the one from the Wolf and Time box. This is red clover. Red clover is one of our favorite springtime herbs, and we thought it would be the perfect blossom to celebrate the coming of spring. Red clover is associated with the deities Artemis and Rowan. Spiritually, it is helpful in unblocking the throat chakra. The blossoms support the free flow of communication and expression. We hope they will help you release the deep emotions that are locked inside the body. I need that. Just waiting for the right words. Your plant potion kit has materials to make a red clover infused oil and topical salve. We think it's the perfect way to celebrate Ostara. If you're feeling called to learn more about herbalism, I invite you to join us on the plant path because the world needs more healers. Or miss regards, Shannon. Shannon again did a beautiful job typing this up. Of course, there's a uh, informational type up of the featured herb, which is red clover. Again, it's really thick cardstock. You could just stick that right in your book of shadows. <laughs> All right, I did see this as I was scrolling past on Instagram. This adorable little darling face. Look at this raccoon. Little trash pandas. I love them. There's actually some um, raccoons that will often get into our dumpster out back. And oh my God, they scare the shit out of me if I'm going over there to like throw trash away at night. That's why I don't go there at night anymore because there's either squirrels or there could be raccoons in there. And I'm just, I'm not trying to get a jump scare at like midnight when I'm taking my dog out to go to the bathroom. So <laughs> I will instead um, experience raccoons from just this print but this is so beautiful. You can see that there's little dried flowers on it. Um, and a little bee, I like the bee up at top. It's so, so beautiful. And this will go on my wall with all of my other beautiful prints. I actually needed another vertical one. So the way I have them um, in my office, I have, I should include a, a picture of them. I'll upload a quick shot of my setup in my office because I'm very proud of it. I think it's really beautiful. I do have a couple here at my house. Like I have the cauldron one back here with the moon phases. I have a raven, um, but I do have most of the other ones in my office so that I can see them all together. But I have an order of them on one side and it's like this way, like what is this? Not landscape, the opposite of landscape, portrait, <laughs> landscape, portrait, landscape. And I really needed another portrait in my pattern before I was able to put up the bluebird one. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'll insert a video so you guys can see what it looks like, but it looks really beautiful. I get a lot of compliments on them. They all look so cohesive and wonderful together and I absolutely love them. So here's my little raccoon. I get to add him to the fam. Raccoon Eyes shows us that how we see the world can change our view from negativity to a field of flowers and new beginnings. As the raccoon can sometimes be seen as an intruder, this young animal is delighting in the corner of spring's flowers and showing us a soft soul. Raccoon as a shaman animal helps you to see your way out of difficulty, reveals what has been hidden from you, and lets you release what you have been truly feeling. It supports the solar plexus chakra and helps you ground with the element of earth. You could watch this being made on the YouTube channel Wolf in Time. It helps you learn how to use your sense of touch for healing, gives you the art of ingenuity. Okay, now I get to see red clover. Here's the red clover. I've actually never smelled red clover before, so I'm gonna do that right now. I just took like the biggest inhale of that because ugh, it's giving me like nostalgia again. I don't know what it is. There's something about this that like reminds me of my childhood home a little bit. I don't know, that's really weird, but I like that a lot. I'm interested to work with this because like I said, I don't have too much um, experience with herbs. That's one thing I'm lacking a ton. I'm very interested in seeing how to make this and following these directions because if I don't have like directions on how to do things, I don't know what I'm doing. So I need those directions and having them typed out and like put together like that is super helpful for me. Next, sacred spaces. What is this? Bath salts. Ugh. I was just telling you guys how much I love baths. This is Sacred Spaces Ancient Botany Ritual Bath Salts. It has jasmine, violet, orange, lemon, and sandalwood. And it just looks beautiful. I don't even know if you can see all of the variation in there of the different materials. Oh, I feel like after today, after this week, after this month, I really need a bath. Um, it literally is one of the most relaxing things ever. I know some people don't like baths because they don't like the idea of sitting in their filth but the way that I take baths, I'll take a bath, but then I'll immediately turn the shower on and I'll shower after. So I'll like rinse off. 
I don't know, it's something, a habit that I got into. My boyfriend does the same thing. I think I got that habit from him. Um, and it makes a lot of sense in my mind because you're just helping rinse yourself off so you don't have that like dirty feeling afterwards. I don't know, some people might not like that. It takes them out of the mood. You can shower beforehand too as well if you want to actually clean yourself. Um, but I think that's a way around it if that's what's holding you back is that you don't wanna sit in your filth. Take a shower beforehand or afterwards and see if that changes the way you feel about it because it really is so relaxing to just kind of like sit in water, especially because our body is made up of so much water. Like we have such a high water content. It feels nice to just like flow. It feels like we're meant to do that. Maybe it's because I'm a Pisces. I just like the water, but <laughs> I am really looking forward to using these salts. To relax, to give yourself care and to cleanse you before ritual, herbal baths are the perfect sacred practice. Herbs not only help to toxify, soothe and ease physical pain, but have aromatic therapy that calms the mind and soul. We have partnered with the ladies at Sacred Spaces who have made you a special mix from their apothecary of orange peel, violet, and jasmine. If you do not take baths, you can use them as a shower salt scrub, a foot soak as ritual salt for cleansing or in your magical workings. Orange has the power of love, divination, luck, and money. Violets give you protection, lust, wishes, peace, and healing, and jasmine gives you prophetic dreams. I don't even know what to pick right now. There's so much in here. It's gonna be excited. So I'm gonna pull these out because there's some incense. Ooh, this is nice. What is this? This smells like spring. It smells so fresh. If you're doing like spring cleaning, I know I like to do a nice stage of my apartment during the spring to kind of just like help get out the old and just cleanse the space and bring in new energy. I like to do that from time to time anyway, but especially during spring, when they say spring cleaning, they don't just mean cleaning your house, they mean cleaning the energy as well. So definitely clean out your space and it'll be nice to use those incenses to really help in that process as well. I think I'm gonna go here. I see the words wax melt and that looks really interesting to me. Here we go in this little thing. It is a wax melt. I actually have a wax melter. I'm staring at it right now. It was in my Amazon favorites video and I used to use it so much. I have amazing wax melts for it. Um, and I fell off. I used to put it on when I was getting ready in the morning. I used to have a whole morning routine that was just amazing. And I fell out of doing it. I would wake up, I would meditate. I would put my wax melter on. Um, and a lot of things in my routine have just been cut off because I just sleep until the very last second because I'm not going to sleep at an appropriate time anymore. And yeah, I'm starting to really feel the effects of it. So this will hopefully help me get back into that routine of having a nice morning routine. <laughs> but this says, establish EST Oculus Petals of Nature Wax Melt. A fresh linen, oh my God, what other scent is more perfect for spring than fresh linen? Oh my God, they're so cute. So we have these little floral wax melts, two little babes, and they smell like fresh linen, apparently. I'm gonna smell it though. It smells so good. I just did my laundry and I, I put it away literally just before I did this. And this is what my clothes smelled like. It doesn't even smell just like fresh linen. Like, you know when you go to um, any any candle store, specifically like Yankee Candle, there'll be that like fresh linen and it's very like pungent. It almost like hurts your nose a little bit. This doesn't smell like that, that type of fresh linen. It smells like clean clothes. Like you just did your laundry and they smell good. It's not, it doesn't hurt your nose. It just smells very like comforting and clean and cozy and amazing. So. I'm obsessed with these. If this projects as well as I'm hoping it does, um, I might have to get a couple more of these because I really enjoy the scent of them. We have included some herbal scented wax melts as well to get you started with your aroma lamp. They are petals of nature scented with a clean herbal fragrance and a hint of floral notes. The colors will swirl around as it melts and each one will give you hours of aromatherapy. As we explore the craft of ancient botany, you'll be using all of our senses to create a complete awareness on how you can use plants. Next, I'll go for this bag here. I have this brown bag and a little noodle. I'll stick them back in the back. <laughs> Add this brown bag. Feels like the crystal. It is so weird. It has these little pieces on the bottom, but you can see on the side, they're all just like little pieces right next to each other. Again, I literally work in a crystal business and I've never seen this. It is so cool. 
And in certain lights, I'm hoping that this will pick up. Can you see how sparkly that is when it hits the light? That is ridiculous. It is so cool. Raw amber calcite, holy cow. That is awesome. I've literally not seen this before. This is so unique and so cool. And it's beautiful. I literally want to bring this to work with me and show everybody. Raw amber calcite, also known as honey calcite, is a calcium carbonate mineral with a rhombohedral crystal system. It is found in Mexico and comes in very pale to deep dark brown with a degree of transparency. It supports strength and stamina, helping you conserve physical energy, aids in helping you get through emotional difficulty with stability, and inspires you to have perseverance in your spiritual path to fulfill your commitments. It stimulates your intellect, which can help you absorb information of ancient botany while keeping you calm without stress. Next, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go over here and get this box out. So I have this little box. Are you okay? Oh my God, is that a, a yawn? What was that? My dog just made the loudest noise. She's like, um, can you take me a uh, OUT because it's about that time. Where's my baby scissors? It's not about that time yet. I still got things to do. We got a whole nother box to do. Oh my gosh, is this a wax melter? It totally is. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh my God, how beautiful. Look at that. There's like this beautiful carving on the front. It's like a tree of life and the sides are open so you would see like some of the flames, like the light from the flames coming out. Of course, there's a back so you can put a tea light in it and then on top you can put your wax melt in there. That is so beautiful, it's like a soapstone. I love how everything connects. Like my initial thought when I see wax melters is, oh, I have a wax melt, how perfect. But I don't think that sometimes people might not have wax melters and it didn't even like go in my brain that there might be a wax melter in this box. But usually that's the case if they give you something where you need to have something. Like if you will need something in order to utilize something, it'll be in the box. So I think that's really awesome. Just as incense brings your space cleansing through smoke, so does the fragrance of melted herbal wax. We have included a carved soapstone lamp just for your wax melting in either the green tree of life or in the natural nature seed pattern. Your included tea light candle can be lit and placed inside while you put your included wax melts in the top dish to get melted down. Add just one at first, add in other pieces from ones you may have already had, or even add essential oils, dried herbs, or dried flowers to the liquid to customize your scent and experience. Next, oh my gosh, running out of space to put things because there's so much goodness in this box. But this looks like very similar to the last bag that we got from um, Apothecary at home, except this time we have a tin. This is probably for the salve, I'm assuming. So you could put it in here. This is actually a huge amount. I'm not sure if you can see how big that is, but you can definitely get a lot out of this. Then we have another one of these containers. This here is like, ooh, it's a whole thing of beeswax. That is so cool. It literally says it on there too. So we have this stick of beeswax for the salve. It doesn't smell like anything, but I felt like I had to. It looks like a stick of gold to label things. So yeah, that'll definitely come in handy now that I have multiple things to make. Next, is this to, oh, we have a little dropper Another little dropper here for the oil. So here is the dropper. This one is a little just a bit more plain. Plain, so if you want to put things in it, you can see it. But another dropper for the oil. The ancient practice of herbalism, botany, and the use of plants for healing both physically and emotionally has been a craft for centuries. We have collaborated with our friends at Apothecary at Home to bring you an extensive kit in learning this age-old skill. It includes a large muslin bag a glass oil dropper bottle, blank tabs for labeling, a silver lidded tin, a glass jar and lid, one ounce bag of red clover flower and a leaf herb bag of sustainable beeswax, recipe card and instructions on how to make premium herbal oil and topical salve. There is also a personal letter from the owner slash founder Shannon O'Brien that speaks of the magical properties of red clover and a special discount off your first subscription box to learn even more. Next, oh my gosh. It's so cool, there's so much in this box. What is this? What is this? Okay, what is this? This 
This looks really cool. So it is bubble wrapped, so you know she's safe. Ooh, a little shot glass at the bottom. That's not what this is, but that's what I'm saying it is. Ooh, it's so cute. There's a little, little glass. Why does me just want to put water in this and just like sip out of it so bad? I love like little things like this. It's not a water glass, but I want to drink water out of this so bad. <gasps> oh my God. This is insane. This is literally like the most fancy writing. I was gonna say utensil, I guess it is a utensil that I've ever seen in my whole life. Holy crap, it is like glass blown, literally just glass. Oh my God, I was just talking about how when something is in a box, if there's something that you are suggesting you can do something, and I was saying about the ink, what type of utensil would you use for that? There literally is one here. So do you, do you stick it in here? Oh, you will put the blueberry ink in here that you make. Oh, that's amazing. That is incredible. I wanna do this so bad. I wish I had blueberries. If I had blueberries, I would do it right now. This is incredible. The process of glass blowing is so amazing to me. I did a glass blowing class for my boyfriend and I's anniversary. Um, that's what I got us as a activity to do. And it's really incredible, um, the process of doing it. It's really difficult and time consuming and it's an art form. So this is beautiful. I can't stop looking at this. I'm wondering how to store this so that I will protect it. Um, I don't trust myself. So I think for now, I'm just gonna roll it back up in this um, so I don't break it, but this is, Incredible, oh my God. Manifest the shit out of things with that. For your botanical recordings of plants, a special pen creates a unique energy of ritual practice and importance. So we have included a green tinted glass dip pen with a ribboned handle and a sparkly core. It comes with a glass inkwell and molded glass stand for it to rest upon. There's also an ink recipe created by Wolf and Time that is made with herbal ingredients that you can use in your magical crafting. Most of the supplies can be purchased at the grocery store a craft slash art store or online. Practice with your energy infused ink and feel how to draw, write, and create with your new tool. When finished, simply clean it gently with warm soapy water. Sharpen it using a fine grain sandpaper or file. What's this? I see, oh, is this a book? I see something really big on the bottom. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's cute. So I'll show the front first before I dive into it. There is just a bunch of like trees and birds and stuff like that. And the back it says, take a walk in the woods and record your reflections and observations in this portable journal, including nature identification illustrations, as well as lists of national parks, hiking trails, botanical gardens, and birding sites to visit across the country. This journal will keep you inspired and prepared for all of your outdoor activities. Oh, that is so sweet. It has seasonal suggestions, leaf identifications. There are a bunch of different tree leaf identifications. That's really cool. Animal track identification. That is so cool. You can sketch other tracks that are in your area, clouds, and then journaling so you can write if you are out in nature, what you're doing. Oh, that is so awesome. There's also information about national parks, like it said. This is so cool. Oh, I love it. We have, um, oh my God, what is it called? I'm gonna lose my mind now. Um, Acadia, we have Acadia National Park close to us. I've never been. I would love to go either in the spring or in the summer. Um, I hear it's absolutely beautiful. So many people I know have gone there. So this would be really fun to take with me and see what I'm able to find. Um, also nice if you do a lot of work outside, if you have like an outdoor altar space, if you're able to have that, really nice to be able to do work outside and also integrate this journal into your practice. As you go on your hikes or nature walks to find new botanical specimens, it is very helpful to have a designated journal to record your findings. This little hardback book has both space for writing and drawing, as well as interactive tips, information, and field guidance. It has seasonal suggestions for what to look for, tree leaf identifications from common trees, plant and animal examples, cloud formations, park and hiking trail suggestions, lined paper, graphing areas, and more. 
Take it along with you on your adventures and connect with the magic of nature's plants, animals, seeds, mushrooms, and vegetation in your area. I think I forgot one other thing over here. I have this other little bag. Oh, and I have a tea light. Of course, literally she thinks of everything. If you don't have a tea light for the wax aroma lamp, we have one included here, which is so nice. Again, it's something I don't think of because I have so many tea light candles, but if you don't and you get this box and you're thinking, wow, I have to go out and get a tea light candle or some tea light candles. No, you don't. There literally is one here. Um, and if you enjoy it and you love it and you just want to keep using it, yeah, you can go out and get some tea light candles, but it's nice that it comes with ones who have everything that you need in order to use that piece. That is really, really nice. Wow, that was a beautiful, beautiful box. That was the Luna Lux box. Again, ancient botany themed. Really excited to make that salve and that ink, guys, that ink and that pen, that glass pen was absolutely stunning. I am really, really, really stoked about that. Those were the two monthly boxes you can get. So the Wolf in Time or the Luna Lux. This next box and the final box I'm gonna be talking about today is the Bone and Steel. This is a quarterly subscription box. So it doesn't come every month. It only comes four times a year. I have done an unboxing for this particular one um, on my channel. I'll link it, of course, in the eye or somewhere if you wanted to check that out and see what the previous boxes were. But just a little bit more about this box in case you were interested. The Bone and Steel includes five to seven items. It is a more masculine box and it is in March, June, September, and December, and is $42 per month. So the one that is on the website that you can purchase right now for the future is for June. So if you wanted to go on there and purchase the one, um, the next one that is coming out for June, you can go ahead and do so. I'm going to just go back and find the March Bone and Steel just so I can talk a little bit about this particular one. If you wanted to go and purchase this specific one, it is $50 instead of 42 because it was a past box. And the um, theme for this is the Seed of Freya. I'm not gonna read anything more though because I don't wanna ruin it for myself. I did just wanna preface it with the theme. So here it is. You can't see it now, it's all the way at the bottom. And it's got its own customized bone and steel box. I can't even get over this unboxing. This is my biggest unboxing to date. I'm so excited. On top, I have another one of these beautiful floral stickers. Sorry, I wanna just, there we go. There we go, beautiful floral sticker. On top, of course, we have our page, the bone and steel for March. This paper looks a little bit different than the other one. This looks like that seeded paper um, that we posted to get. It feels like it as well. Yep, printed on handmade seeded paper from Nepal. 50% recycled. Please plant this when you are done and water daily for wildflowers. So um, plant this, you would plant this particular page. That was something that was um, part of the boxes in the past and Bone and Steel is still using the seeded paper. Um, really amazing way to be able to recycle materials. So it says, spring is the time to welcome the seeds of nature back into the forest to plant the harvest that is yet to come and to celebrate longer days of light and warmth. Freya as a fertility goddess of prosperity and vegetation helps spread these seeds as well as love, protection, and many other things that you will be learning about in this month's quarterly box. You'll be connecting deeper to the Norse goddess, to your own path of wisdom and magic, and you will have some adventure along the way. I got another Oracle card, guys, to add to my Oracle deck, my custom deck. This is, ooh, Messenger of the Gods. And I think it says G-N-A. I'm not sure how to say that. That might be a Norse god. This unique card comes from the Yggdrasil Norse Divination card stack by the Icelandic artist Haukur Halldorsson and Gunhildur Haukdortif. There are 81 cards viewed from the Icelandic Asatru community. You are chosen one intuitively to help you on your own unique path and to guide you with insight through meditation. And I got another one of these really soft, perfect business cards. I'm still trying to see if I can see the texture because it's so soft. What makes it so soft? I have an, a page for my Book of Shadows or Grimoire. And it's all about the goddess Freya. So really great if you either work specifically with this goddess or if you just like some information on her, really good for educational purposes. Original 5x7 Grimoire page 
is full of information about the goddess pulled from multiple literary sources and compiles a well-rounded view of Freya, her associations in magic, and how you can better know her in your life and on your path. Next, I have another little write-up here. This is Seed of Freya Nature Offering. So you need sunflower and red clover flower seeds, tea light candle and matches, two antler pieces, pen or a carving tool, a foraging knife, nature parts from your area. That's so cool. So here is this kind of like a ritual, if you'd like to call it that, but it is an offering. If you'd like to check that out, you can pause the video and look at that. And next I have this print. And this, of course, as we learned, is Freya with her two cats. And it's really nice. It ties in the whole sunflower thing because that is part of the um, offering is sunflowers. And there are sunflowers in this print. This original watercolor painting was created using a shamanic ritual and offering to Freya and depicts her adding her special satyr to the flowers for fertility, spreading the seeds of the sunflowers. It also has her two familiar companions, the magical gray cats that pull her chariot, and her name in old Futhark runes, which means lady. You can see the art process and ritual on the YouTube channel Wolf and Time to deeper connect to its meaning and to Freya. She looks so beautiful and whimsical and just really, really pretty. And it looks so spring-like. Ugh, oh, another beautiful print by Kat. And there are some incense. Oh, these ones smell really good too. So I'll go over here. Oops, and I have, I have this little brown box. Oh, let me show you. I always take it out before showing you. It's in this little green um, thing here, and it's with like moss. I don't think this is real moss, but it feels nice and squishy like real moss. Oh, it's like a a face. This is really cool actually. So if you can see that. There's like a face on this top part here, and it almost looks like a type of like, um, oops, it almost looks like a type of like claw or something. And the clarity of it is so pretty. It looks like a smoky quartz. I'm gonna shine some light through it so you can see. Can you guys see how light that looks in the light? That's what I'm seeing with all these lights on me. It looks really beautiful, almost like glass. Ice obsidian wolf tooth, tooth, tooth. Oh, that is so cool. It literally says two here. If you put it in the light, you can see the glow from within. And that's literally exactly what I was thinking when I held this up. You can see that beautiful glow and it lightens it up because down it looks almost just like a dark brown. But when it's light like this, you can see straight through it. It's incredible. Really, really beautiful kind of illusion that it has. And I'll try to show that a little bit better when I'm doing my close up. I'm gonna put this on right now because it says it's good for protecting you against um, psychic attack and absorbing negative energy. So I wanna keep all this around me right now. Not that I feel like I have negative energy. I feel like I have a lot of positive energy right now because I love doing this and I'm having so much fun. I am doing so much better than I was earlier today. Um, this is a great way to end my day. Um, I still want to have all of these amazing qualities with me at all times. So I'm going to wear this on my neck. This actually looks like um, I'll try to put a picture of it with it, but I have this fake bear claw that I got when I went to the Big E, which is a massive fair that's in the Northeast. But I got that when I was watching this like bear, um, they have like this thing going on of, of bears and they rescue them and rehabilitate them. They had like a, a showing and they were talking about it and they were raising money for their I guess services that they, that they do in rescuing the bears. So we got a little bear, a fake bear claw. It's not a real bear claw, um, but it's a fake one and it's carved and I thought it was really cool. Oops, that's all the lights that just turned off on me. That means it's 1230 at night. There we go. <laughs> that didn't really do much probably. Um, actually, there's one more light. There we go. And yeah, this one reminds me of that a lot. So. I love this. It feels really nice too. I like can't stop holding onto it. So love that. The wolf is the sacred animal of the Viking and of the Norse gods, both being the protector and the destroyer. They are the keeper of the balance in nature and in power. 
we decided to give you both the magic of the wolf and the element of natural ice obsidian crystal in one beautifully carved pendant. It is on an adjustable cord and as you put it into the light, you will see its cold glow within. Ice obsidian is produced when felsic lava extruded from a volcano cools rapidly with minimal crystal growth. It represents protection, blocking negative psychic attack, and absorbs negative energy. It also shows loyalty to your path, bravery, and wisdom. Next, I have this. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Something just fell out. Oh my god. It's a knife! Oh my god. <laughs> it reminds me of that vine. They're like, what is that? He's like, a knife! And he's running around the pool. I'm kind of scared to trust myself holding this. Um, but it is a knife. You can use this, I, I'm sure, for a lot of things when you're out and about, especially with like going out into the forest. I mean, this whole theme for everything is like springtime and getting back out there. Um, and I'm sure when you're out in the forest, you'll come across things that you can use a knife for. So I have this knife and it comes in a little protective case here so you won't cut anything when it's just like not being used. Your new travel knife has a necklace sheath and can be used for multiple tasks. We have added it for your adventures into nature to forage what the seeds of nature have blossomed for you. You can also use it to carve magical symbols, create with, as a bowline to use when you need it, or out in the wilds at the forest. Please be very careful with it, it's very sharp. Next, I will grab this one here. Ah, oh, sunflower seeds. And there is a tea light candle. Is that some lavender down there? Some lavender, I'm like sniffing the bag, trying to see. I'll definitely do a close up on all of these. Oh my God, my dog just <laughs> breathed really loud and it made her cone make noises and I thought this was all tipping out onto my lap. That just stressed me out, <laughs> but it's not. So then I have these sunflower seeds here and this was for the Seed of Freya Nature Offering. This here. Everything that we need is here. The sunflower and red clover flower seeds, a tea light candle, antler pieces. That's what is here on the bottom. I'll just pull one out so you can see. It's just a little slice. Almost looks like how you can draw runes on things. It's just like that and it's blank. There's nothing written on it. Um, and then the foraging knife, that's what they had meant. And here's the foraging knife. So literally everything you need to do this is in this box, aside from matches, which I'm sure you'll have access to matches somewhere. Um, but yeah, super helpful to have everything that you need for this offering in one place. In the cotton bag, you will find all the parts you need for the included ritual Seed of Freya Nature Offering. Using the tea light, the blank antler pieces shed naturally, the ritual scroll, the sunflower seeds, and the red clover flower seeds you'll be creating a nature practice of foraging, gathering, planting, and offering to the goddess Freya. And the final item in the box is this massive one. I wanted to leave this for the end because it's massive. Whoa. All right, here we go. This took up the majority of the box. As you can see, it's huge. And I'm excited to see what's inside here. So I'm gonna open it up. This is gorgeous. This is like another one of those like custom pieces that we've had. Oh my God, it is a custom piece. It says bone and steel right on the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it's a statue of Freya. It makes sense, this whole box is Freya, but oh my gosh, look, she has her cats. That's one thing I love about her is that she has two cats. And she looks so powerful with her sword and the um, shield. I saw this first this cloak on the back, but oh my gosh. Look at that. The detail is amazing. And this is a bone and steel exclusive. You can see there's a stamp right on the back. Wow. What a special piece to have on your altar, especially if you work very closely with this goddess. Um, and even if you don't, just having this as a piece on your altar specifically for this time of year, for spring, or if you're working with um, specific energies that she is known for, um, this is a really, really amazing piece to have and just keep on your altar. And a wonderful collection addition if you are somebody who has some of the other Wolf in Time pieces. So we've had um, like the Athame, we've had the Mirror, um, we've had the Chalice, we've had a lot of different pieces that are custom 
um, in a very similar fashion, more of like a brassy tone. This is the first one that's like a silver tone. I'm loving the color on this one, but really great to add to the collection if you've had similar ones in the past from previous boxes. Um, you can get one of these as well. That is amazing. This one-of-a-kind statue of the goddess is made of high-grade resin and finished to replicate steel. It was designed by Wolf and Time for the Bone and Steel collection and crafted to represent both the inner and outer beauty of her as a deity through her soul. You will see her cat companions, her sword and shield, her cloak of feathers that transforms her, her long golden hair, her Nordic features, and her stance of strength and grace. Her aura is ancient and wise with infinite sight and deep knowledge of the magical world. She is ready to protect you as a warrior, give you nurturing love, and give you guidance on your path as you grow with the seeds of light. Wow, 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 guys. That is it for the biggest unboxing I have ever done on my channel. Sometimes I feel like when I, I do like outros to videos, I'm a little speechless. Like I, I don't know what to say really. And I'm just so grateful I get to share these boxes with all of you who I know share similar interests as me. And it just makes me feel really happy that I can do that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed these unboxings. Again, this was for the month of March. Please let me know what your favorite item was because I'm having a hard time deciding myself. There were so many wonderful pieces in these boxes it's hard to choose um, but i'd love to hear what you guys think about it and again if you want any information on wolf and time any of these three boxes i'll leave all the information down in the description box along with my coupon code if you'd like to subscribe and save 15 percent off your first box that is it for today's video and i hope to see you all in the next one bye